reloading the solar panels because I don't think they can get to our place. Probably about the best we can do. Ah, uh, baby, we'll put that at the back, that one. of the solar zone. Ian? What's your name? Jimmy. Jimmy and? Edward. Edward. Good job. Thank you. This one here, the lights in Nipa Hut. The one outside is we use our, that one is run by our solar, new solar system. There's two lights here. Also run by the solar and there's, and another two lights here. Here where we have our kitchen this one and here's my brownie my cute dog this fan is run also by our solar 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 and this one here too we have two fan here that we used well uh, run we by did, the solar we did today but um, if we got them both on, I think we're using a fair bit because, well, it was okay. I think during the day when you've got plenty of sun, it'll easily run this, no worries. But probably wouldn't run both of them at night. Might drain it a bit too much. But I think it's fine to, uh, to have the one running at night. And then during the day when the sun's up, run them both or even more. Um, but I can't really measure it yet. I need to get a uh, shunt uh, that goes in line with the negative of the battery. And then I can measure exactly how much current is being drawn out and keep a very close eye on it. Bit of that from Australia. We run our Starlink 24 seven on the solar. So it's totally five lights, not all the time, as we need them. And we might add to that, but I think I need to get the monitor first. 